How's it going people? Sam and Slab are you, and this is the Caribbean Desert Hard Task Set Guide. Start to finish, let's have at it. Quest requirements. For this you need to have done Dream Mental, Dealing with Scarboroughs, Smoking Kills, Do No Evil, Inacra's Lament, Desert Treasure, Contact, and The Deadliest Catch. Skill wise, you'll be needing 75 Dungeoneering, 70 Magic, 65 Slayer, 61 Thieving, 55 Farming, 55 Cooking, 52 Fletching, and finally 50 Runecraft. So not much. Item wise, you will be requiring seven ma uh, seven water runes, two death runes, one astral rune, one fire rune, two empty water skins, one dreadnip, one onion, one tomato, one thanky meat, one bowl, one bucket of water, one pot of flour, one full cramulet, either a face mask or a full slayer helmet. You'll also want a cactus seed or at least planted a cactus within Alcarid that is healthy and fully grown. One light source, one or more feathers, one enchanted water tiara, the keris dagger, and be on Lunar Magic, which is highly important, and will save you quite a lot of time. Recommended items, I'd highly recommend bringing along a Fero Scepter to teleport down to Sophonum, it does save you a little bit of time, and finally an OSHA Telly, also known as the Emergency Telly, as we will be hitting the KQ. So, to start this, you want to head to the bank in El Carid, equip your Cramulet, and go ahead and talk to Ali the Camel. Choose the second option on the first, and then tell him you'd love to, and then listen to whichever poem you want, and quickly skip through. Just a little bit of a hint for the rest of it, you will actually end up having to kill a dust devil, so if you have room for food, bring it along. Crush weapon works well, and as we do need to use the carriage later, melee gear would probably be the priority. If you can. Next up... Second task, you need to head to the farming patch in the northeast side of Alcarid and make sure your cactus is alive or this is where you would plant your cactus seed. Once it's fully grown, check the health and finally pick a spine and upon picking a spine, you'll have another task complete. So next up on the list is we now need to head up north of Alcarid and we need to head into the mine and once we're there, we then need to enter the resource dungeon. The mine is pretty much directly north of Alcarid, so you can't really miss it. So just head on up here. And once you're here, jump into the resource dungeon. And as soon as you do... Task complete. So, next up on the list then. Now you need to home port over to the Bandit Camp. So go ahead and do that. Finally, once you're here, you want to equip your Enchanted Water Tiara. And as soon as you do, you will have another task complete. Next up, you want to head south and follow this canyon towards the west side. Eventually, on your minimap, you'll notice a quest icon appear. Just before that, you will find this little hole right here. You want to head down this secret entrance. And as soon as you do, you'll find a ladder right in front of you. Head on down. Finally, head through the western corridor within this room. At the end of it, you'll find a door. Head on through that. And finally, in the central chamber, you'll find a ladder where you can go up. Go ahead and jump up there. To your west, upon arriving upstairs, you'll find a fountain. You want to use a water skin on this fountain, and make sure you only fill one water skin. If you fill more, it will be a bit of a pain in the ass. So, just make sure you fill the one, and you should be good. So, as soon as you do, that is another task complete. Happy days. So, we now need to backtrack a bit, so head down the ladders we just came up from. Head back through the eastern door, and follow the corridor over towards the eastern room. Once you're here, head back up the ladder, and finally climb out through this little sand hill. 
So once you're surface side, head slightly towards your southeast and eventually you will run into the ancient pyramid. We, knew we do actually need to switch over to Angel Magics now in a second, but just before we do, we need to cast Humidify. So quickly jump onto your magic screen and go ahead and cast it. Hopefully if you had an empty water skin in your inventory, you will then get task complete. If you don't have the water skin, you will need to go ahead and buy one from the Shandy Pass. But as soon as you've done that, head around the back entrance of the ancient temple and go ahead and switch over to ancients. So as soon as you've done that, we now need to head back outside. So from the ancient temple, we now need to go almost directly northeast and we're heading into the smoky dungeon. It's pretty much a direct line from here up towards your northeast. You will run into it and if you don't you will hit the canyon and you can just follow it around to the Smoky Dungeon or Polnovich. If you hit Polnovich you've gone too far. If you happen to get a little lost you can always use your map. It's fairly straightforward. But once you're here do not forget to put on your Slayer Helm or your face mask, depending on which you brought. Make sure you equip it before you head down. And once you're down here, go ahead and beat on a dust devil. You only need to kill the one, so just beat it senseless. And as soon as it's dead, you'll have another task complete. <coughs> So once we've done that, head back upstairs and we now need to head over to Polnovich. So to get a Polnovich from here, you just want to follow the canyon to your south and then to your east. And it will be directly in front of you. So once you're in Polnovich, we actually have to go into Simona's house. Simona is the Slayer Master of Polnovich. So just head on towards the centre and you'll see the little icon on your minimap. So, finally, once you're here, go ahead and trade Simona. Once you do, you want to buy a few unfinished broad bolts. As soon as you've bought them, simply use your feathers with them and fletch them into broad tip bolts. As soon as that is done, you'll have another task complete. So, as soon as you've done that, next up we now need to head over to Nada. If you happen to bring along your desert amulet, miraculously somehow, then you could always teleport straight to Nada. If not, then head towards the south side of Polnovich and go ahead and catch a magic carpet ride. So, once you're finally in Nada, we now need to make our Thanky Kebab. All of this has to be done within Nada, so make, hopefully you brought along all those raw materials I did mention. So, to start off with, you want to use your bucket of water with your pot of flour and make pita dough. As soon as you've done that, you want to use your onion on your bowl. If, like me, your bowl is full of water, then go ahead, right click and remove it. Then use your onion on the bowl, you'll have chopped onions. Then use your tomato, and you'll gain a mix. Finally, you want to head south then, towards the bank in Nada. And just outside the bank, you will find a pottery oven. Once you're here, go ahead and use your Ugthanki meat with it, and cook it. 
Go ahead and use your Xangi meat with the mix and you'll now make a kebab mix. Go ahead and cook your pita bread with the oven. Then use your pita bread with the mix to make the kebab. Happy days. Another task complete and a kebab. So finally once we've done this we now want to head up to Shanty Pass. So go ahead and catch a cabot ride back to Polnovich. And then a ride from Polnovich up to Shanty Pass. Alternatively you could just home telly to Al Karid and run down. Either way, whichever you find easier. So, once you're back up in Shanty Pass, just around here you will find Xanki Camels. The idea is we now need to use Ice Burst on any of these camels. It doesn't actually have to hit, just as long as it is cast. Conveniently enough, there is a bank right next to us, so if you happen to mess it up, then you can simply get some more runes. Easiest way to do this is head to your magic book and make sure you're auto-casting Ice Burst. And as soon as you've done that, you'll have the task complete. So at this point, eliminate the camel if you didn't happen to kill it, as it will keep harassing you. As soon as you've done that, we now need to head down into Sofanum. You can either use the magic carpets or your Fear Scepter if you brought it. Personally, I'm using the Fear Scepter, so I'll carry on. Once you're here, head into the Pyramid Plunder and go ahead and start the mini game. We need to get up to the level 61 floor and we have to open the sarcophagus within it. So for the entirety of the rest of it you can simply ignore it all. If you feel like it you can actually do a full pyramid plunder run either way. But for the purposes of this video I'm just going to quickly sprint through. So, finally, once you're in room 61, go ahead and pop open that sarcophagus. And pretty much as soon as you do, you'll have task complete. So, as soon as you've done that, go ahead and leave the pyramid. Once you're out, head over towards the bank in Sofanum. If you don't remember where it is, it's this building right here. While you're at it, go ahead and switch to your Keras. At this point, it's a good idea to bank most of the stuff you have in your imagery. The main things you need to keep on you are your Dreadnips, your Emergency Teleport, and your food. You'll also want your Light Source for this. Everything else you can bank. I would recommend bringing out some more food as we will be going to the Caliphate Queen straight after this. You only have to survive in the Caliphate Queen's room, you don't actually have to kill it, so don't worry. As soon as you've got all that, head downstairs again inside Sofan and Bank. And run all the way through until you come across the Scarab Mage.
So as soon as you see him, stab him in the face. And just go ahead and kill it. That's all you have to do. Although the accuracy on the Keras is fairly terrible, so yeah, it might take a little while. But as soon as it is dead, task complete. Good times. So as soon as we've done that, next up we want to head back to the bandit camp once again. And as soon as you're here, head up to your northwest until you hit the bandit camp. As soon as you hit it, go directly north. Eventually, you should see Bebedin camp just to your west as you're making your way north. You want to head towards the northwest side of this Bebedin camp. And there you will find a deposit box. We actually need to use this deposit box, so head on over there. And simply deposit one food. Or one random item. Either way. As soon as you've deposited one item, task complete. So, as soon as you've done that, follow the waterline all the way to the north. And this will take you up to the Calphite Queen's Lair. So head on around. Oh, my bad. So you'll find the Calvert Queen's lair right here. If you look on your minimap, it's shown by the dungeon symbol, and it is this massive mound thing. So head on in. It is a pretty straightforward one-way tunnel here, as there's only really one way to go. So simply run all the way around, and eventually you'll come to a hole you can actually climb down. If, for whatever reason, there's no rope on this hole at the end of this tunnel, you will probably need to go back, grab a rope, and place it on there. But, as soon as you have placed a rope there, you no longer need a rope to get into the Calphite Queen's Lair. Sorry about that. So finally, once you're all the way around, jump straight into this little hole here, and as soon as you do, run straight into the area. Eventually you'll come across the Calphite Queen. All we have to do here, and our only objective, is simply attack it once or twice. As soon as you do, summon a Dreadnip, and wait until you get the Task Complete sign come up. As you see, it popped up right there, congratulations, you've completed all the hard tasks. If, for whatever reason, that doesn't pop up for you, you should have the task complete, like you just saw there. And if you don't have the fully completed hard tasks, then you've either missed a step, or your cactus is currently growing, and that's the only thing you're waiting on. Other than that, that is it. Finally, to get the hard rewards, you just need to head back down into Polnovich, and go ahead and talk to Ali the Mayor. You can find him in the main square, just slightly south of where we actually spoke to Simona. And he's pretty easy to spot. So, for completing this, you do gain the Desert Amulet 3, which, conveniently enough, does give you 2 prayer bonus and 3.5% critical on all attack styles, which is pretty nice. While worn, as well as having the Amulet 1 and Amulet 2 features, you also gain the ability of goats dropping desert goat horns in notes, reduced failure rate at the agility pyramid, unlimited teleports to nada, 100 molten glass to be made per day, though it does require soda rash, 
and at all times, with or without the amulet on you, the cactus patch in Alcarid will be protected from disease and will always provide double spines, which is always nice, double charges on your fear receptor and scepter of the gods, reduced chance of mummies and scarabs spawning in pyramid plunder, the Keras has a greater chance of scoring a vicious blow against Kelphites and scarabs, 10% cheaper items at the Mage Training Arena store, and 30 noted potato cacti can be bought or even taken from the weird old man per day. So all in all, a pretty damn good reward for the hard set tasks. We can't really complain as spines are currently going for quite a lot. And there's not too many places you can actually grow cactuses. So yeah, pretty nice to have double spines from that. And the fact that they're no longer diseased, so you can constantly plant and not have to worry. So very similar to the Mauritania tasks. So the only thing left now is the elite tasks. Unfortunately, I don't actually have the stats for it. So that will be a while, as I do have to do the entirety of Dominion Tower while I'm at it. So yeah, showing you on screen there was the Nada teleport with the amulet. And that's pretty much it. So the elite tasks, I'm not sure when they're going to come out. They are fairly straightforward. Uh, if those of you are really interested, then I can make a mock video of it. Although I will have to skip one or two, possibly three tasks. But with that, I will actually still be able to tell you exactly what you need to do. So either way, let me know. Catch you all later.